Hello, Swank here. Welcome to the next episode of Press Nothing Career Mode here in the first game. Unfortunately, this is simmed as it's a midweek game. Give my second team a run out against Wotherham. So at least there are a couple of youngsters that aren't quite good enough for our first team and some kind of borderline players that will get match time, like Thomas in goal, who's not really done that good when we're playing him. And it's considered three goals in this game, so not really thinking of putting him in the lineup either. As I've seen, as you've probably seen, we've been in January for the last couple of episodes. And Callum Robinson and Will Greg have been largely sought after in this transfer window. No way I'm leaving them go and uh, let them go, let them to leave before at least this close to the transfer window. End of it. I thought I was going to sell him one as I want really big money for him. The money they're going to offer is nothing to what I want. I want at least 15 minutes for Will Greg. And it says, but apparently I can get about seven. But maybe Premier League gets a couple of goals in there. His price value might go up to something similar to what I am looking for. Just continuing to get transfer bids for Will Greg and Cam Robinson. Cam Robinson is just getting bids uh, for. I wouldn't even consider. And I think the best signing we're probably going to make is Daniel Johnson. Signing him up on a new contract. And just getting rid of players like Callum Robinson and Will Gregg will just deplete the side. And we're just doing way too good for this league at the moment. Just cannot wait for the Premier League to come. Just even more transfers coming through. There's six million if I might, but it's just no. Nope. I'm going to counter offer this late in the transfer window. There's not enough even to get someone in, and I don't even have the money at the moment to get someone in. It would actually be anywhere near as good as we need. So will Greg stays at least until the summer? But I have no intention of letting him leave. But if he wants to leave, then that is up to him. But Another one, transfer bid for Karen Robinson, another one. Just showing you this, just to see, this is my whole transfer window. Transfer for Will Great, Karen Robinson. Like, like, they had one for Brown. It's just, you're not having them. Just leave me alone. Wasn't going to reject all offers, just uh um, yeah. Then that's our second keeper, Max Thomas. Be here for eight weeks, so Cardano will start in uh, both sides, I think, because I'm not sure if Jake Keane's that good, to be honest. I did sign in for very little money, but I thought it was a lot better than he is. First game we're playing in this episode, first game of four, I do believe, is Norwich, and... Uh, it was my team, but after, after the first time editing this, I completely forgot how Norwich was. And there's a squad report at the end, if you want to go see that. And I realised there was a Norwich game and completely just missed this one out. So here is the Norwich game anyway. And you won't actually realise the difference if I never have said. But to be fair, it was a pretty boring game, to be honest. Duncan Watmore and Lyndon Gooch lighting up the game just before half-time. Putting us 1-0 up. That's the thing with teams like Norwich. You try and get a good episode out of it, but they're just stubborn defensively. But, Premier League quality of Duncan Watmore and Lyndon Gooch separates the sides. And really didn't happen much. Linda Gooch going through the whole team again and gets his second goal of the match. Just 15 minutes before the full time whistle, Linda Gooch puts this fixture out of Norwich's sight. 
Declan Bird, I think he is in that goal, is a very good keeper. I rate him very highly, but not really doing that good in this game, as he's conceded two goals and not really made many saves for his right side. But if no one else is going to turn up, then there's no reason why he shouldn't turn up either. Next game is away against Huddersfield, second game of four, which we're playing in this game. A couple of good players, Casey Palmer, and a good, I think it's just Casey Palmer which I've seen first. Jonathan Hogg, I think that's Ted Smith. So a couple of decent players, my size is very recognisable, Carl Darlow. A couple of youngsters in here, maybe you won't recognise if you don't follow the series that much but mainly just a load of championship quality players and there's a couple of players like Greg here who are ready for that step up to the next league I mean you just put Will Greg through he's not the quickest of players but you know he's going to score probably 99% of the time you put him through that's why he scored 13 goals this season there we go. Cuts easy. 14th goal of the season. Two goals this game. Literally a simple through ball. Just cuts through the whole Huddersfield team. And don't really need that much quality. I will be honest. Just one through ball. Takes out the defender. And beats the keeper every day of the week. See. Just done it again. One through ball. Wolfgang's finishing, even had the audacity to chip him, but hit the crossbar. But Lending Gooch gets his goal this time, after being a sister for that too. Gets the rebound in, and he's just quicker to it, a reaction than the defenders. And then Lending Gooch is just, we're just tearing them apart now, this time Callum Robinson. Getting a shot that probably shouldn't have gone in. Keeper's not been terrible for this game, but he really should have saved that. Like, he's just got no right to be shooting from there. It was a very good finish into the top corner, but the keeper will not be happy. Cameron Wilson gets another goal to his tally. And it even got even better for Cameron Robinson as he got another one. Just two or three minutes later. It's Cam Robinson and this side were just I think Huddersfield would have been better playing a load of under eighteens. They probably would have shown more fight to be honest. As I think they just gone in one nil down and just absolutely gave up. Just way too easy for this Preston side. Which shouldn't even be in the Premier League anymore. Talk about Newcastle or life, storming away, having the best team that's ever been in the championship. This team probably isn't too far off that team. Next game is the biggest game probably in the episode, but probably against the worst team in the episode, Notts County. In the FA Cup round of 16, hopefully we can get to the final. Even win it would be quite good. Playing a fully strength side, as I really want to get far in this competition. Bristol Rovers save last year, I think I got I think it was Capital One Cup really early into it. I think it was first or second season. And players like Roki Santa Cruz. I think that is the Santa Cruz. All trying to stop us from getting through to the next round. But players like Daniel Johnson with his free kick off the post. And Lyndon Gooch. Probably got the best reactions in this whole team. Probably even better than my keeper to be honest. Just Rex passer than anyone, even my team to be honest, and the right position, at the right time, 1-0. This time Daniel Johnson just curls one. I th don't think I've seen that. a better goal in a good couple of episodes. Daniel Johnson just scores beauties for fun. Just finesses that in the bottom corner. Just lifts it over the keeper, and that defender is just sold a dream. 
And I don't know even what to say anymore. That was just an absolute cracker of a goal. Good closing down by Brown. Puts it through for Gooch. He just powers it into the top corner. Keeper for the second time this game. Has absolutely no chance with one of our shots that we take. To be fair, it was probably out of position for that first goal. But could do nothing about this one. If he had uh, saved it, he probably would have broken his arm. It was that powerful from that close range. Just almost going straight into the camera. 3-0. And we've booked our place into the next round. Which I do believe is the quarterfinals. So, 3-0 against Notts County. Very convincing performance. Probably not the best performance, but... 3-0 anyway. Midweek fixture after that game. If I played a fully strength side in, in uh, this game, I probably would have got a better result. Ben Amos is one of them players I really wanted to bring in, but is not quite of the quality that I wanted. Probably might bring him in and swap him for Jake Keane of some sort. It's not Callum Robinson who scored for us. I think it's... I can't remember his name, but I'm probably going to get rid of him. Scored in this game. with has a goal and that would have been a point except for a last minute goal from Medine and here we are it's probably like tough fixtures galore but we're just taking it to the next level Burnley though probably one of the best sides that we face all season hopefully we can get someone even better in the cup or even just not get anyone better and get the final playing mediocre championship teams. Here's my team. Back to the team that got the result against North County in the FA Cup in the previous game we played. And Daniel Johnson, who's a star in that game, puts us 1-0 up after 76 minutes. It's just 15 minutes left to go on this game. Just shows the strength and depth between Burnley and I think it was Notts County that we played last in the FA Cup it's just, there's 12 minutes left in this game it took us about 6 against Notts County I know they are a league or two below but shouldn't really do that and then them pushing forward meant Will Grigg could get his I think 16th of the season so then, uh, we'll group put forward. Tommy Ian is a very good keeper, but just an absolute no chance. It's all the rest of his team were trying to get an equaliser, but couldn't really happen. So, 2 0 against Burnley. A very good result, to be honest. Didn't really expect coming out of that. I thought maybe Nick a 1 0, but chose the strength of this Preston side. Here is the squad report I was on about earlier in the video. If you have made it to this far in the video, could you leave a like and a comment? And I'll see you guys in the next episode and leave you with the rest of this squad report. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.